these people have tricked humanity into valuing their pieces of paper over the well-being and the suffering, the alleviation of the suffering of newborn infants. There's something seriously wrong with us as a species if we can't wake up to this and say enough is enough. Hey guys, um, I just want to talk about something which has happened today which is really beautiful but at the same time is really dark that it even needed to happen. The reason it had to happen is dark I should say. So I posted today and I opened a fundraising page for three children, uh, three babies. The eldest is only six weeks of age. Now what happened was in, in Tanzania earlier in the week the physiotherapist from town who works with the organization uh, called CCBRT, they contacted us to say a mother and her child with spina bifida had run away from the hospital because they never had the money for the bills and the mother was scared what they would do. So the physio took her back to the hospital and admitted the child but the hospital still refused to do the operation on the spinal cord, which spina bifida uh, babies require. And without it, the likelihood of survival is, is very much diminished uh, to the point where they suspect the children will die. Now, this procedure costs somewhere in the region of 200 pounds. So they contacted us and said there's a baby and the, the, she's in big trouble, she's in intensive care. And when we got there, the doctors on intensive care said due to legislation at the hospital and due to the family not having money to pay the bill, uh, we are unable to do the procedure and save the child's life. So in other words, the child can remain comfortable, as comfortable as possible, because still in pain due to not having the operation. And that child can remain comfortable in intensive care until it dies is what they were doing this is what they decided upon doing because someone didn't have pieces of paper we've assigned value to to hand over for the treatment which already exists thanks to the wonder of surgeons across the world who discover these things and how to help such children and they discover it for free they don't you know, the, the discovery in itself, their skill, they get it for free. So how dare they charge? How dare our society charge a child that is going to die for a procedure, which is a gift that we know how to do it anyway. So whilst that intensive care, lo and behold, there were two other children, as chance would have it with spina bifida there, all born around about the same time, the eldest six weeks old. Now, the three children, um, all needed the same operation and were all in the same position. The average Tanzanian person uh, earns a dollar a day, so nearly, and many are earning less than that, I assure you. I've seen people earning 10 cents a day and stuff. So to, to pay 200 pound or over 300 dollars is just not possible for most people and these three families were those people they were from deeply impoverished backgrounds some making less than a dollar a day so the fate was that due to the legislation albeit that there is a room in the hospital with the skills and the persons and the equipment to save the life of the children because they could not exchange these pieces of paper that we have assigned value to which we call money for that service, the children must die.
it's a sick and twisted world we are living in when that is the reality of things. That we will allow our children to die purely because they don't have money. Or let's take away the word money and call it what it is, numbers, illusory numbers with illusory values assigned to them. Pieces of paper printed by other men and women that most of us don't know who they are that are printing it. I happen to do know that it's the Rothschild dynasty that owns the central banking systems and thus controls the input in the economy and the scarcity, the apparent scarcity of money. These people have tricked humanity into valuing their pieces of paper over the well-being and the suffering, the alleviation of the suffering of newborn infants. There is something seriously wrong with us as a species if we can't wake up to this and say enough is enough. There are many a glorious thing in the Western system. But its inequalities means that it has failed us. I'm sat now in the Western system and there are wonderful things outside, beautiful things and beautiful systems. But there are two major failings. One, that the beauty of the Western system and where we live is currently being designed around consumerism. And that means that we are always seeking something outside of ourselves for gratification. And number two is the inequality is too vast. And people who are so wealthy, they are so wealthy and powerful that the average person doesn't even know they exist. They don't even know who they are. People think people like Bill Gates are really wealthy when they're not. There are families controlling more than half of the wealth on the planet. And it's those families who serve a very corrupt and dark energy. Now humanity does not want to stand for this. Humanity doesn't want children to die for the sake of bits of paper that these other families and persons and institutions have tricked humanity into believing there is value behind. That there's more value in them than the life of a child and the well-being of a baby. And I know that for a fact because today I posted about them on Facebook, on social media. And within three hours, we had the money for the operations. And that's the true humanity. That's the real humanity. This is the real one that... This is the side of us that is caged in this pathetic, immoral emptiness that we're living in in the Western systems. Where it's not fair, it's not just. Where a small percentage of the planet's population has all of the wealth. Where one and a half percent of the wealth of all billionaires on the planet can cover the medical care deficit for the rest of the planet. And yet right now I know there are children dying. Because those millionaires are too busy supping on their champagne and driving their sports cars to give a shit about these children. Men, women and children. To give a shit about the rest of us. All they care about with us is that we keep making them wealthy. Those below them are nothing more than a business transaction to keep them wealthy. And when humanity responds within five hours to provide for those children and to save their lives, I see straight away the truth of it. That we are all caught in this imprisonment of legislation and and laws that are there to help the elite be elite. They are not moral laws. They go against every moral fibre of a human being. To say this child will not live because they don't have some bits of paper to hand over. Not that the medical science is not there. Not that the skills are not there. Not that the persons who have been taught and trained in, these, in the institutions of the planet that teach surgeons etc are not there. But just that the child's family doesn't have the bits of paper that society say are worth more than the child's life.
humanity is in a very bad predicament. But we are waking up and that proved it to me in a big way. That showed me the truth of it. We don't want to stand for this. Nobody, nobody agrees that that's how it should be. Nobody thinks a child should die because someone doesn't have little bits of paper in exchange for the life that we say are valuable. Nobody I know is like that. But the persons writing the legislation who we don't know, who we don't see, they are like that. The persons behind such strange beliefs like George Bernard Shaw, who says that if you're not inputting in well into society, you should be executed in a kindly manner. And the society he left behind the Fabians. That means disabled persons must be ex executed according to those persons who follow his belief system. And they are out there, and they are in positions of power, and they are elite. But I can see that the collective are not all like the not were not cut off. Our hearts are not silenced. Our minds are not silenced. And we've got to get up and fight them. And we've got to show them. We've got to show them. What a human is. Not what their twisted, deluded psyches and intellects have deemed a human should be. I wrote today on Facebook if an alien species came down and saw a child dying in a few rooms away the ability to save the child's life and then asked why is the child not being treated by the things you have available and they said oh the child doesn't have these pieces of paper you see and without those pieces of paper the, the child will have to die because it doesn't have them. They would call us a primitive and insane species at the very best. Certainly heartless. And the thing is, we're not heartless. That's proven it today. We are far from it. Those children will get the care they require now. It's the system that's heartless, not the persons living inside it. So who is it that's in charge of the material system? It's the only question and the only piece of research people should be doing. And what energy do they follow? And the more you buy into their system, the more you cut off from the energy that I follow, which is the God of love, the God of justice, and the God of sharing, and equality, and peace. <sighs> Crazy day. But stunning the response I had from humanity when I did share the plight of the children. Let's hope social media carries on to be that powerful tool that it is because social media today was a voice for the children. It was a voice for those children who would not normally have had a voice over here, they'd have died. They wouldn't have had a voice to go to the persons who have a heart and the excess to be able to share. To have a heart and say, that's not right. Instead of it just mindlessly taking away the minds of, of, of the generations, my generation and the ones younger than me especially are just getting their minds devoured by social media nonsense. But it's a powerful thing. Technology can be a friend in alleviating poverty, but it can also be a foe if people are going to stare at celebrities and the empty meaningless rubbish that the mainstream forces upon them but today humanity came through and social media also came through because it was a voice for the children who didn't have a voice and now our three little ladies as I've been calling them hopefully with a lot of prayer will pull through and they'll have a decent and happy start in life I suspect some of them might come to live at Feather's Tale as well, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, just wanted to talk about it. Much love, guys. <laughs>